All right, super quick video going over the hero balance. Sombra, got a nerf. Hack ability lockout duration reduced from 1.75 to 1.5. Good change. Hacked enemy is no longer valid targets for hacking for the duration of the effect. Good change, no more double hacking. Hacked damage multiplier reduced from 40 to 25%. Good change. Glad there's Sombra nerfs. That hero is ridiculous. I think she, I think this is honestly a little bit lenient, but who cares? Genji, this is the worst Genji change I've ever seen in my entire life. We'll talk about it in a minute. Zarya, barrier duration reduced from 2.5 to 2. Sure, I guess, that's fine. Barrier cooldown increased from 10 to 11. That's going to really hurt Zarya players. I think she's going to fall out the meta, and I think Monkey will replace her. Diva, fusion cannon spread increased from 3.5 to 3.75. That's pretty okay. Um, I don't care. Boosters, impact damage reduced from 25 to 15. Very good. Now she can't build all charges by flying through people three times in one time and then throwing bomb. That's pretty pog. I think they should have changed their defense matrix a little more, but this is a good start. Kuriko, swift step invulnerability duration reduced from 0.4 to 0.25. This is not what needed nerfed about Kuriko, but sure, I guess. They had to change her protection Suzu or her uh, swift step, either distance or cooldown, one of them. Uh, but protection Suzu is very annoying. You know how I feel about it. I think it shouldn't be in the game, but it is, so I guess we'll see. There are no soldier nerfs for some reason. They said in their dev, uh, they did like a thing on Twitter where apparently soldier is like massively overperforming above masters, but is basically useless below masters, which is interesting because it's an aim hero. You would kind of expect the aim hero to do well in high ranks because those players can aim and they'd be shit in the low ranks because those players can't aim. Also, another thing I wanted to talk about. McCree, or I guess Ryan, or or Cassidy, or Robert, or whatever you want to call him, the fuck cowboy man. Magnetic grenade is probably the least skill expression based mechanic in the entire game. The only reason it was added, and I I promise you this is true, they saw McCree players in low ranks had shit aim, and they couldn't kill anything because they were terrible. Then they decided, well, we need a way for those low rank players to kill shit. So, we're giving we're giving them a grenade that you don't even have to aim, by the way. It literally just, you throw it, and it goes to the person nearest to where you threw it at. It really, really aids. It sucks. It is, uh, it's lazy, it's boring, it's overpowered, it's too easy to use. The hitbox is huge, it tracks you from a mile away, it does a shitload of damage, it's it's stupid, the cooldown's short, it, it's so dumb, it's such a dumb ability, I hate it. I don't know why the aim based hero, the hero that's all about having good aim, gets an ability that requires you to actually not aim at all, because if you do aim, you're probably less likely to hit it. You honestly just look at whoever you wanted to go at, and if you're within a certain distance, it will probably go there. I think its purpose was because people had terrible aim, so they couldn't fight Tracer, they couldn't fight Genji, and that's why they gave it to him. It's because he was getting fucking torched in lower elos by flank heroes, so they were like, okay, we have to give him something so we can fight flank heroes. So we'll just give him a grenade that does 130 damage and heat seeks onto people. It's okay. It is the dumbest. It is seriously, no word of a lie, the dumbest mechanic in the entire game. I would rather play against Sombra Kariko Sojourn for the rest of my life than play against this dumbass magnetic grenade stuff. It is so stupid. Anyway. Genji changes. Okay, um, Blizzard dev team. I don't know, none of you will watch this, but you are possibly the worst uh, balanced team I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, Genji's issue isn't his maximum ammo or his shuriken damage. That's stupid. His problem is the DPS passive and being able to nano blade. So, you should be able to do one or the other, but not both. You can either remove Nanoblade and keep the DPS passive, or you can remove the DPS passive and keep Nanoblade. Give him his ammo back, his damage back, make Blade not boostable, make his Blade charge rate increase by 10% so he can Blade a little bit more often. So, I don't know. Right, there we go. Problem solved. Or, remove his DPS passive, give him all this back, and then boom. Problem solved. 
the thing that this creates, the change that we're making here, is we're throwing Genji back into that weird spot where he is trash and unusable all the time, apart from a six second period where he's nanoblading, where he becomes the best hero in the game. I don't know how you can be so bad at balancing a game that you can't see the problem here. It's not his his default. His default is fine. Him walking around with his shurikens, perfectly fine. In fact, it's actually a little bit weak because the meta heroes or the heroes that are good against him torch him in a fight. It is a waste of time fighting half the fucking heroes in this game right now because they fucking own you unless obviously there's a skill issue, which typically there is because Genji players typically are good at the game if they're picking Genji to a certain degree obviously because picking being bad at the game and picking Genji you're throwing the game by doing that if you're good at the game and you pick Genji you're probably gonna run the lobby right now because he's actually a good hero but that's only because of the DPS passive and nanoblade it has nothing to do with his damage and his max ammo what we're gonna get now is Genji's gonna walk around he has lower burst damage, so it's going to be way harder for him to kill squishies. He has lower sustain damage, so he's never going to be able to build blade. And he's reloading more often, so he does less damage. Uh, he has less poke damage, less burst, less sustain, and he's reloading more often, so he's, his uptime's even lower. However, nanoblade is still a thing, so you can run around in nanoblade with your DPS passive and run down anyone in the lobby. The, I'm sorry, seriously, no word of a lie, no troll. I think the Overwatch balance team is the worst balance team ever. I think whoever employed them, are they are jokemen. This is truly the worst Genji change I've ever seen. As a Genji player, I understand the hero is a little bit powerful. He's a little bit too strong. A little bit. Okay? A little bit. And I accept that. Right? It's rare for me. I'm pretty biased as a Genji player. I'm pretty biased. I like to think my hero is always trash, okay? Because I'm trash at him. But, in this circumstance, he's a little strong. And it's because of his DPS passive and Nanoblade. That's why he's strong. So, pick one or the other and give him a compensation buff in return. If you get rid of Nanoblade, if you get rid of the DPS passive, then don't give him a compensation buff in return. There we go. Problem solved. The hero is back to being balanced. Changing this, you're turning him into a blade bot again. This is awful. Truly, if this patch goes live with these Genji changes, you're going to watch his pick rate plummet into the floor in every rank other than GM because all the GM Genji one tricks are just going to keep nanoblading like they always do and nothing's going to be any different. Apart from the fact that obviously now they can't kill anything in their neutral game, which is fantastic. So anyway, this was the patches. I think this comes out in mid-November, which is really odd. Also, no Doomfist buff, no Junker Queen buff no soldier nerf it's like really bad this this patch is truly awful this is really bad the zarya changes are a little stinky i think i think this is gonna hit her super hard she's strong she's very very strong she needs a nerf but this is this will fuck her up but i don't think i'll throw her out of the meta well it will because people are gonna play monkey and you don't play zarya against monkey because then your team just dies genji will we're never gonna see him play it ever again truly he's in the grave Hopefully Sombra's in the grave as well. This hero's dumb. Uh, Diva, sure. Diva's Diva's fine, I guess. I mean, these these are good. I hope Defense Matrix is patched. Kuriko, Protection Suzu wasn't touched. That's lame. So overall, uh, out of 10, 10 being this was the greatest balance patch ever made, and 0 being this was the worst balance patch ever made, Blizzard gets a 3. Because this is dog shit, but it could have been worse. So anyway, that was the balance patch.